Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Jager here and today I'm going to be basically clearing up any questions you guys have about DX Spread. I know I've seen um <clears throat> like two videos of people making DX Spread and they're always like, I don't know if this is the right one to get. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be clearing up all of those questions. So yeah. Alright, so, so far there are three known ways of making this and um... You guys are probably going to think this is funny but weird at the same time. The very first time I made DX spread was with this stuff, right? The classic, the white stuff. But it was old, so it looked brown. It was aged. And um, we're going to be basically aging this one by boiling in water. Yeah, we're going to boil it in water. And then this one, that's the one that Jake made his DX spread with. Um, I don't know if you guys saw his video. Um, I did make a video where it shows him actually using that one. And then that one is um, the one that <clears throat> some people do so yeah we're gonna boil this one make it go from brown i mean from white to brown that one's already brown and then that one's white so there's basically three different ways to make dx bread i guess so yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make them all right so we have all the dx breads done this is um the newer dx bread that's like the original dx bread that i use with the old cajeta i mean it's the stuff that i use with the old condensed milk and you can get that flavor by um, boiling the a brand new can of condensed milk, and that's the stuff that I use the caramel cajeta, and I, I just use regular condensed milk with whipped cream. I mean whipped cream. Right. cream so just to be clear, these two right here, they're made with the condensed milk, the condensed um, sweetened milk, and that's straight up condensed milk and cream cheese, and then that's the boiled condensed milk with cream cheese, and then this one over here is made with caramel cajeta or it's like it's basically the mexican version of like spreadable caramel so yeah that's mixed with um cream cheese as well so yeah the only difference with this one is that um it's the con it's a sweetened condensed milk all right if you want this one it's sweetened condensed milk that has to be boiled for like three hours and let it cool down for an hour and a half so yeah but th these two on the sides you just straight up mix either this or for that one you mix um, caramel cajeta. So yeah, we're about to try them right, right now. So we have all the DX spreads here. That's the DX spread with uh, straight up, milk. yeah, straight up condensed milk and cream cheese. Then this one right here, the lighter brown stuff, is the cream cheese with boiled sweetened condensed milk. And then the darker brown stuff, right, these two right here, that's just straight up caramel cajeta with um cream cheese so we're gonna so try first we're gonna start with the the whiter one so yeah i like it i think they're all pretty good not gonna lie mm -hmm. oh no they're just all really good i'm not that picky all right so now we're gonna try it with the boiled condensed milk so yeah Dude, that's actually like the first time I tried it with the boiled condensed milk. The tiger here. It tastes like the classic. Yeah. Except a little bit sweeter, just a little bit. I don't really remember how the classic tastes. I don't remember that good. <laughs> nice. Now we're gonna try it with the the caramel cajeta. So first yeah. Time. Oh yeah, this is the first time we actually tried with the caramel cajeta. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And this is the way Jake made it. And this stuff's a little more thicker, so if you want to go for something more thick, go with the uh, caramel cajeta, but in my opinion, they all taste pretty good. Look, wait. Wait, what? My mom brought toast because she knew DX Red was out here? Hi, mom. Pick, pick one. Which one are you going to go for? That toast is screwed up. So you going to go for this one? So what? It's still toast. It's a little crooked, but it's still <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um the overall point of this video is just to show you that there's been different made there's been different DX spreads made and um they're all pretty good, not gonna lie. Um I've I have seen people made DX spread like a different way. For example, Jake, he made it with caramel cajeta and that still tastes really bomb. So yeah, um just 
you can use either sweetened condensed milk or caramel cajeta and it's gonna taste pretty good so yeah thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't and drop a like on this video